Hey, where is everybody? Hey, house opens in five, guys. Let's get ready. Oh, yeah, um, I just have to. Oh, let me go get some mascara. Okay, thank you. Can you zip up my dress? Yeah. So, are you excited? Yeah. I'm also a little bit nervous, though, because it's my first show. Oh, you have nothing to be worried about. House opens in two, guys. Okay, we gotta get going. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, go. Uh, break a leg. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show. Why do we dream? Is it as simple as saying it's a side effect of sleeping? Or is it more complex, a communication of sorts between the subconscious and conscious? Perhaps dreams are the products of the heart, the whispers and desires that make us human. But what are they made of? Wants. Needs. Memories? You see, dreams are what connect us to the secrets of our minds. It is only through dreams that we get a glimpse inwards. It is through dreams that we wake up knowing. Wanting. Understanding that what we want is just beyond our grasp. We wake up with the desire to know. To remember. To see again the dreams that whisper so tenderly. To relive the moments that so quickly slip away. We want to understand once and for all what our minds are hiding. But above all else, it is best to accept the uncertainties of life, for there will be times when you won't understand. Accept that you do not know everything, and only then can light be shed on the enigmas of our dreams. Hey dude, did you dream last night? Yeah, but I don't think I recorded it very well. What do you mean? I don't know. I guess I'm just not used to writing down my dreams yet. Well, that's fine. And like I said, at first you'll probably forget to write them down, but after a while it just becomes second nature. Yeah, I guess so. Besides, it's more important to get the feelings and emotions and exact details. Like what you were feeling, not what made you feel them. Even so, I'm sure my dreams wouldn't have been of any use to you. No, all dreams are important. You think so? Definitely. I think that dreams are one of the best ways to truly see what a person is thinking. True emotions only come out when we're asleep. Wait, what does this word say? Track. Yeah. Sorry, it was dark this morning. This is really confusing. Yeah, I forgot most of it, sorry. Don't worry, dude. But what about yours? It was actually really crazy, like circuses and parties. Uh, is there more? No, sorry. I forgot more and more the longer I was awake, and by the time I'd finished this first part, I'd forgotten the rest. It's all good, I think I got it all. So 
wait, you were playing as a goalie? Yeah, it was actually pretty cool. And what made you wake up? I missed a ball, and like a buzzer went off to indicate a goal. Sweet, thanks. Go Ryan! So why do you think Ryan started tracking his dreams? I don't know. I mean, I bet since you've been doing it for, what, a month now, he probably started thinking it wasn't so lame. That makes sense. I just wish he would remember more. I bet he's trying his best. telling you his dreams now. Which will definitely help my research. What? Is that all you care about? Your research? Well... You're sure Ryan has nothing to do with this? Oh, shut up. Wait, what's going on? What do you mean? Annie, wait! Dance with me! No, what are you talking about? Come on, it'll be fun! No, I don't want to dance. I'm, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Just, just dance without me. So, who was she? She was a girl in our grade. I never really got to talk to her that much. She was too quiet. Her name was Anna Maria, and apparently... She died yesterday. Yeah. How did this happen? Well, no one really knows anything yet. But... But some girls say she took pills in the girls' restroom. Seriously? But I don't want you to tell anyone. It's Bad enough what happened. There's no need to spread rumors about it. It's just so awful as it is. And she actually told me her dreams. Like, I don't know. I wonder what Ryan will say. I think he knew her. Oh, shoot, I have to take Ryan to practice today, don't I? Oh, dang it. Okay, um, I'll see you later, okay? Bye, Matthew. Matthew's a little meek, isn't he? 
What do you mean? He's too shy for his own good. Shyness is a virtue, especially in men. But inability to act is a weakness. Who says he's not able to act on his own? No one, I guess. Just, don't you think confidence is way more appealing? Appealing? How so? Romantically, physically, I don't know, just appealing. You think that's more appealing? Yeah, it goes hand in hand with physical strength. I didn't know you were one for athletes. Confident guys are always willing to make moves, take risks. And you don't have to hide your feelings. And I don't have to hide my feelings. But why the sudden interest? Do you want a boyfriend? No, I'm being serious. Serious about what? Serious about Matthew's future. What do you mean? He lets people step all over him, and one day he's gonna snap. <laughs> Reminds me of Ryan. Why Ryan? He sometimes is too aggressive, you know, thinks with his fists, not his head. Do you think we need to talk to him? Ryan? Matthew? Danny, he's not gonna snap. You never know what a person's capable of until they do it. What's that sound? Sounds like rain. No, it's not. Not again. Ryan may be aggressive, but he's not unintelligent. I didn't say that. I don't want to talk about this. All right. Well, did you know the United States averages 30 inches of precipitation? Yeah, we average over 40. I say I don't want to talk about something and that's what you lead with. Okay, where is this coming from? Explains the gloomy atmosphere. Wish today was happier. What do you want to talk about? Why do you even know that? I saw it on some weather station. Can you remember which one? I'm trying to right now. To remember? To make today happier. Well, I don't know what I want to talk about, but it's not this. We could talk about Anna Maria. That'll cheer me up. You knew her, didn't you? Olivia, I don't really... Do you want to talk about her, or... Yes, I knew her. And I'm sad she's gone, okay? I felt like she was a shy kid who could have used help, but was too scared to take it. And I tried giving her help, but she wouldn't let me. You saw her. She was too shy and quiet. And I wanted to help her, but I couldn't. We couldn't. And... We never knew what she was capable of until she actually did it. Oh, Andy, I'm sorry. I just feel bad for Olivia. For Anna Maria, I mean. They weren't that close, were they? No, but Anna Maria was one of the few people who talked to Olivia about her dreams. I just feel like since Anna Maria was having all these bad dreams and Olivia had to deal with this burden, I feel like somehow Olivia blames herself. Why do you say that? It's just a feeling. It's probably nothing. I just feel bad, you know? Yeah. Well, I'll see you then. Yeah, see ya. Oh, and Ryan, you're probably gonna want to talk to Olivia today. She's probably gonna want to see you after what happened. Yeah, I, I think you're right. saved me. What? You could have saved me, Matthew. Anna Maria? You could have saved me. You could have tried harder or given a damn. Why, Matthew? Why? 
Are you sure it was Anna Maria? You know, I had the craziest dream last night, too. I mean, I don't know. I've never even met her. Maybe that's why she was blaming you. Even in his dreams, is a pushover. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I can see why she was mad. It's just, how can I have a dream with someone I've never even met before? Or, or at least I don't think I've met her. I don't know. I'm going to go start researching in the library. Tell Ryan I'm sorry for missing his practice. See ya. Excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Oh, sorry, hi. Are you Olivia? Yeah, that's me. You let people tell you their dreams, right? And you interpret them? Well, I can't really interpret them, but I like to listen to them to see if any sense can be made of them. Oh, well, I have this nightmare, and I really need to get it off my chest. Okay, thanks for waiting. Where were we? Oh, uh, we just finished my dream. Yes, you said you were in a car crash. And have you had any experience with car crashes? No. Well, yes. Not personally, though. My brother was in a car crash. He crashed coming home one day. He lived and is doing much better now. Mm -hmm. And what about your dream? Actually, I've had this one twice now. You truly are just pathetic. I mean, what can you do? You can't run. You struggle in all your classes. I mean, what are you good at? Olivia. Is that all you can think to say? Olivia, please, I, I just need your help. Oh, you need my help? Olivia, please. Just pathetic. I can't believe I wasted so much time with you and to think you wanted to spend more. just made a big discovery. Hmm. I think I know why people are having repeated nightmares. Ryan, this is like big news. I'm sorry. I'm just really tired from practice. I need to go home. Okay, dude, what's the matter? You're never the slow energy. I just really want to go home, okay? I just want to go home and I want to sleep. But I can't sleep because I still have a bunch of homework to do, a math test to prepare for, on lessons I don't understand, okay? I said I was sorry and we could study another time, but... Your dream stuff comes first. Ryan, you can't be serious. I haven't dropped you and I'm shocked you think I ever would. I'm... I'm sorry I got a little preoccupied with my studies, but you do realize how selfish you sound, right? 
I'm just trying to figure out what is causing these nightmares. Can't you respect that? Ryan. Whatever. I'm leaving. Ryan, wait up. Ryan. I don't know if you can hear me. The doctor said you wouldn't be able to. But I want to talk anyway. I'm sorry. I know that it seems obsolete and it's a really stupid thing to say, but I'm sorry. We're all rooting for you, you know? And you, you can and will get through this. And when you do, you'll be stronger because of it. It's funny. The doctor says they never know how long a coma will last, but I know. I know that this will just be over before you know it. So, hang on, okay? Come on now, we both know this isn't the end of your story, don't we? Olivia, please, don't go. Begging suits you. Sorry. For what? For being weak? For crying? Blaming you. For being selfish. For your accident. You're a coward. You deserve whatever happens to you. Olivia, please! Don't go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Olivia, please come back. Please. Ryan, I can't. You know that. But that doesn't mean I'm gone. Ryan, listen. You have to find my notes. If you do that, you'll be able to save me. Save you? Ryan, promise me. Promise me you'll do this. But how will I know how to find you? I'm counting on you. You have to do this. You have to. Dude, we gotta talk. Hey, sure, what's up? I just saw Olivia. What? Like, now? Yeah. But how? She's still in her coma. I know. I had a dream where I saw her. You've lost me. Right before I woke up, just now, I had a dream where her and I talked. Okay, so what do we do now? I want to start researching. Figure out what she knew. I think I want to start at the library. Maybe if we went together we could... What about our classes? You can't really expect me to sit around and learn lessons, can you? I mean, besides, the school doesn't even know I'm okay anyway, so... Alright. Meet me at the library after you finish, okay? Okay. Oh, and Ryan, just don't stretch yourself out too thin, okay? You're still recovering. Eternal?
What's up? What do you want to talk to me about? Oh, uh, I think I know what Olivia had figured out. Sweet. But wait, how did you find her notes? I went to her house, but that's not important, okay? So, in the last section of Olivia's notes, she had this single word underlined. Eternal. I was so unsure of what this meant at first, but now I'm positive that it's referring to the fact that everyone keeps having the same nightmares over and over again. So her parents just let you take her notes? I mean, that seems kind of irresponsible. What are you talking about? Matthew, this is important. I, I know, I know. It's just I can't believe they'd let you do that. Would you forget about the notes? I got them from her parents, who know me, who trust me. And besides, I've known Olivia for years. Our families have basically become one. So can I please continue? Yeah, yeah, sorry. sorry. Where was I? I don't know, something about, like, eternal dreams or something. Yes, our dreams have become eternal because they've infected our subconscious like a disease. But before we get to that, who all has had the repeated dreams? I don't know. A couple of random kids. Us. Anna Maria. What does it matter? Because what do they all have in common? They're all shy and quiet, and every one of us is such a wallflower in our own way, people don't even realize we exist. So what you're saying is that the nightmare is target introverts. Not exactly. See, I think this all comes back to our subconscious. For some reason, Anna Maria's death affected the quiet kids way worse. And I think it's because subconsciously, we're all like her. Like how animals can't spread diseases to humans, but humans can spread diseases amongst themselves all day long. Does, does that make any sense? I mean, it's far-fetched, but it's the best we got. I mean, okay. What's the plan? How do we save Olivia? I, I don't know. So are you just gonna give up? No, but it just seems like a wild goose chase. I don't even know if I'm right or what to do with this information. That can't be true. There's gotta be something here. We just gotta look for it. I mean, come on, if not to help Olivia, why do you even start researching in the first place? Because I had a dream where Olivia visited me. And this was just a dream? Yes. Really? Well, Olivia did ask me to save her. Perfect. Even Olivia knows it can be done. I mean, come on, dude. We have to help Olivia. You can't give up now. Not when she's counting on you. But what if it really was just a dream? <laughs> I don't believe it. You know that this isn't a normal coma. Yeah, but... So, are you going to help me find Olivia or not? Of course. <laughs> Great. Okay, I'm going to start interpreting dream. You should go out and find medical journals and start looking for stuff under comas. Okay, wait, Matthew, shouldn't you be getting home? It's getting late as is, and you do have school tomorrow. <laughs> is that on the phone? Of course not. Besides, we have to help Olivia. She'd do the same for us. Olivia. Olivia. Olivia, say something. I'm sorry. You're not supposed to be here. What? What's going on? We've got to hide you. Does Olivia... Can Olivia see you? No. That may be for the best, for all our sakes. What, what the hell is going on? Why is Olivia ignoring me? Because, because you two are separated. I'll try to explain more, but first we have to move. But why? Because Olivia is not in the coma. You are. Hey, sweetie. Matthew's here to see you. Are you up to it? Hey, how are you feeling? I'm fine. I honestly feel like I'm being so overdramatic right now. You never were the emotional one. <laughs> Am now, I guess. But how's Ryan? You visited him, right? 
Um, yeah. Uh, Ryan's still in his coma. But according to the doctor, when you're in a coma, everything passes like a dream. I wonder what he's dreaming about. Who knows? It will be okay. I mean, time passes really fast when you're asleep, and everything's going to be over for him like a blink of the eye. But it'll last an eternity for us. We'll just have to manage. Besides, that gives you more time to work on your research. I think I'm stopping my research. What? Why? It's too exhausting and too pointless. I don't know. So you're just going to give up? No. I mean, I guess. But you could be so close and you don't even know. I guess. Right. All right. Uh, let's make a deal, okay? You get out of bed and you start going to school and you can take a break from researching. But only a break. I still want to finish thesis by the end of the semester. Yes, sir. See you tomorrow, Matthew. See you. Hey, Mom. I think I want to go back to school tomorrow. That's great. Do you need a ride? Nah, if the weather's not bad, I'll bike again, but thanks, though. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do without my research. Have you thought about joining any clubs? Olivia, are you seriously going to audition for the play? Yep. But why? I didn't even know you could act. I can't, or at least I've never tried. Then why? I don't know. I guess I always wanted to, but I never had the guts, and now that I have nothing else to do, I might as well. Hey, why don't you try auditioning too? What? Oh, God, no. Come on, it'll be fun. Plus, I don't want to do it alone. Please. No, I don't. Please. Fine. But I'm not really going to try. Down. No, my grandmother. My Is everyone here for auditions? Great, well, let's get this thing started. Uh, first things first, my name's Tom, and I'm gonna be the director for this year's play. I hope you've all read the script because we're gonna be doing some cold reads from it. And no, I don't expect you to be perfect or have it memorized, just give it your best and feel free to experiment. Um, I think we're going to be going in groups today, so everyone can just sit back, relax, and we'll get started in a few minutes. Alright, um, I think we have just one more group to go, so... Uh, Annie, I know you've already gone, but can you go back up? And Olivia, can you join her? Olivia play Mia, and I think Annie play Iris. Uh, which section? Oh, uh, the last one, the argument. Just not her. You always do this. Well, what do you want me to say? I'm sorry. Happy? You can't just sleep with my boyfriend and apologize the next day. And why not? Oh, Jesus Christ, you were... Are you really this delusional? I'm sorry I proved your boyfriend's a cheater, but... <laughs> Don't act like you did me a favor. Don't act like this was some twisted up, jealousy-driven attempt to take away the one chance I finally had in a relationship. I was finally happy. He made me happy. But he cheated on me. Oh God, what am I doing? I know the truth hurts, and I'm sorry. Don't be. I guess in a roundabout way, you did me a favor. Maybe we can be friends after all. That was really good, you guys. Actually, you all did wonderfully. That being said, I am going to have to make some cuts for callbacks. So... Annie, Jonathan, um, Mark, Renee, and Olivia, could you guys stay? The rest of you, you're 
you're free to go. Thank you. Hey, Olivia. Hey. I can't believe it. I got a part. <laughs> Dude, that's sweet. Who else made it? I got cast as Mia, Annie as Iris, Tom cast himself as Tennessee, and some kid named Jonathan got cast as Freddie, and of course there's the understudies. That's sweet. To think, just a while ago you were researching dreams. Joe. Can't wait to see that. Anyway, when's your rehearsal? Today, actually. Oh, okay. Good luck. Thanks. by now, but it feels like we just got cast. I mean, I'm starting to get more comfortable. But I'm not. This is weird, pretending to be something I'm not. Yeah, that's what acting is. I know that. It's just... I feel like sometimes I'm my character and sometimes I'm not. We're the same person, yet different. I'm her, but she isn't always me. I'm lost. Me too. What about you? What about me? How did your love turn out? Did you live happily like you wanted to? Uh, Jonathan, can I get a little more hopefulness in your voice? Yeah, um, did you live happily like you wanted to? Oh, that's perfect. Not quite. We lived happily for quite some time, but in the end I was drafted and she chose to follow me. I came back. She didn't. Seems funny now. And then Olivia and Annie, you two make eye contact. And then Olivia, you say? I'm sorry, she really seemed like a noble woman. She was. She, she was. Okay, I think that's all we got for today, guys. So thanks, see you guys next week. Okay. Oh, and Olivia, do you have a ride? No, I was just gonna walk again. Do you mind if I walked you home? Okay, I think I've got it. What? I think I want to call you Olive. Olive, huh? Is, is that alright with you? I mean, I won't call you it if you don't like it. No, I, I love it. So, what made you decide to audition? Well, I went through a really bad time and I lost somebody that was very close to me. Well, he's not gone, just separated. But, I decided to start acting to get my mind off of it. I'm sorry if things have been rough. Don't worry, they're not anymore. It's cold. Yeah. Hey, sweetie, how was rehearsal? It was actually really good. I'm starting to learn my character more and more, and I actually really like to act. That's really good to hear. Oh, do you have homework? No, I finished it already. What's for dinner? Not much, just some pasta. It'll be ready in a few. So yeah, I'm gonna go get changed. I'll be down in a second. So, how'd the argument end? He apologized, thank God. That's good he accepted his mistake. Not many guys will do that. Definitely, but... But what? Well, there's something there now. Even though we both moved on, you can tell there's a rift between us. That doesn't sound like you've moved on. Oh, trust me, I have. It was just a petty argument anyway. Besides, I can't stay mad at him after he calls me Olive. Oh god, not this again. What? Nothing. It's just Ryan used to call you Olive. Don't you remember that? 
Ryan used to call you Olive for forever, yet he stopped when you told him you were too old. This is different. Is it? Or are you just happy following Tom? I don't follow him. You play a character for him. When you're around him, you aren't Olivia. You're different. Annie, please call me Iris. I can play a character just as well as you can. Okay, I don't appreciate you mocking me like that. I know the truth hurts, and I'm sorry. Annie, stop. You know, Olive, I'm not sure I like the new you. What with you ignoring your friends for your boyfriend, lying to yourself, and hallucinating a dead girl? It's no wonder you can't face the truth. Iris, you... Do you mean that? I have to go. Wait, Olivia, I'm sorry. I got carried away, Olivia! God, I'm just so happy with the group. We don't even have to pretend to be friends. It just comes naturally. Yeah, and everyone's so perfect in their roles. And I love the hair and makeup. Like, your mask is so cool. And to think we were strangers mere weeks ago. It's insane. It's like time has sped up or something. That's how it seems. Because one second we were at auditions and now we're having dress rehearsals. Yeah, everything's moving so fast. I guess I can't say I wanted to stop, though. Sometimes I wish it at least slowed down. Do you, do you want to talk about that? What? About what's happened? What is there to say? That you and Annie fought? Yeah, but <laughs> it wasn't a big deal. This right after we fought? Don't find me. Annie, now you're seeing your dead friend, Anna Maria? Yeah, so? What are you trying to prove? <sighs> I'm not trying to prove anything. Then what are you getting at? None of those things were that big. They've all gone over. So. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that these aren't big deals? All of that is a big deal. So now you're telling me how to feel? No. But you have to stop running away from your feelings. I know you've been hurt in the past, but that doesn't give you the right to shrug everything off. I'm not shrugging at all. You act like arguing with your friends, your best friends, as if it's no big deal. Why are you doing this? You've been on, what, ten dates? And every time you bring up one of my issues. Why? Can't we just enjoy ourselves in either positivity or even silence? That's naive. You know what? I'm going. He's a nice guy, but he's not the guy for you. Oh look, he paid for you too. How are you here? That's not important right now. But you're dead. You're I... not listening. We have to talk about Tom. Hey, Maria, I thought you were gone. Olivia, that's enough. Listen, you have to stop thinking about me and start thinking about yourself. Please, that's the only way you'll get through this. Fight for yourself. Fight against... Can she actually talk to you this time? Yeah. I was honestly struggling, just trying to figure out what she was saying. It's like she was talking in riddles. I remember when she talked to me, uh, I couldn't understand a word she was saying, but she was adamant about it, nonetheless. Yeah. Have, have you seen her? Not since the nightmare, no. Oh. Don't worry, I'm sure this is just a wave you gotta ride through. It'll be over soon. Mia, you always do this. Well, what am I supposed to say? I'm sorry, happy? You can't just sleep with my boyfriend and apologize the next day. And why not? Jesus Christ, are you really this delusional? I'm sorry I proved your boyfriend's a cheater, but- <laughs> Don't act like you did me a favor. Don't act like this wasn't some jealousy-driven attempt to take away the one chance I finally had in a relationship. I was finally happy. He made me happy. But you cheat on me, God, what am I doing? Mia, I'm sorry. 
Tennessee? You know, Iris means nothing to me. I only have eyes for you. I'm sorry, but you proved that false when you broke my heart. <laughs> it was one mistake. One time. People changed, Mia. I've changed. Don't listen to him, Mia. We all know you're lying. Oh, shut it. You always say what you need to to save yourself. Drop the facade, Tennessee. So what do you say, Mia? Will you give me another chance? Tom, I don't know. You don't know as in you don't know? Or as in you don't want to know? Come on, Mia, you're not gonna throw away everything we worked for, are you? Mia! Mia, answer me! God, Tom, let me go! So is that it, then? Tom, please don't. What? Make a scene? Are we finally done making scenes? I don't care if people look at us, just tell me straight. Are we through, Olivia? Yes or no? Yes, we're through, Tom. I can't take it anymore. I can't take your insensitive comments or your need to always have the final word. You're too controlling and egotistical. So that's really it then, huh? We're really going out with a bang, I guess. Tom, I, I still want to be friends, but that's all. Do you think we can be friends after this? Sure we can, we just need time to heal. There are some things that time can't heal. There are some times that you cut too deep. You don't want to at least try? No. Frankly, you pushed me too far, and I'm tired of living in your idealist fantasy. You're so selfish. And you're naive. And now, for the love of God, I'm going. But just so you know, you can't just hurt people and expect them to keep on living. Some people choose to fight back. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, uh, do you know what's going on? What do you mean? I mean, I thought today was just a regular dress rehearsal. It is. Then why is the understudy here? Maybe she's here to watch us? Uh, I thought that was later, but maybe. I don't know, you're probably right. Hey, um, can we talk? Sure. I, um... I'm really sorry for taking things too far. I... I got a little jealous and upset, and I let my feelings get the best of me. But that's not an excuse. I, Annie, don't worry, I forgive you. But I went way too far. You did, but I was a little stupid too. I think maybe even your comments might have brought me to my senses a little. So, no hard feelings? No. Hey, sorry I'm late. Uh, I guess I'll get right to it. I think we should start working with our understudy. Now, I know we were planning to do this later, but we have the time, so why not? Uh, I think first, I'm just gonna have our understudy, uh... Renee. Renee. I think I'm just gonna have our understudy, Renee, watch for now. Sound good? Great, then let's get in position. Oh, and I think we should start with one of the last scenes. I'm thinking maybe even the ending scene. Isn't that scene a little intense? <laughs> maybe, but I think we should see what our understudy's made of. So is that what tonight's become? A series of petty tricks and games to see who can hurt who the most? You disgust me. Oh, and of course you're innocent in all of this? Watch your pacing, Annie. Of course not, but at least I don't pretend to be something I'm not. Then what is that? Don't forget that you're angry, Olivia. I don't lie for the sake of my own well-being. I don't pretend to be a friend when I'm not, or a lover when passion's gone. <laughs> you are not pinning this on me, Mia. No, no, I want to hear her speak. Drop your passion, Miss Jonathan. Even now you're so egotistical. Olivia! Get mad. But at least I can speak my mind. And control others with your deception. God, Iris, you really are blind. Just stop. Why? Have we finally passed the point of no return? Jesus Christ, Tom. I tried so hard to be good enough for you. You never gave a damn. I could have loved you. No, run that line again. I could have loved you. Again. I could have loved you. Olivia, again. I could have loved you. Please, don't lie to me. Wait, what? Olivia, you're lying. I'm not lying. Um, I'm sorry. Where were we? I could have loved you. Yeah, I, I could have loved you. Olivia, I'm not in love with the delivery of that. Okay, well, I can try again. Yeah? Or we could let her understudy and give it a shot. Uh, Renee? Wait! Yeah? You ready to give it a go? I think so. Wait, Tom. <sighs> Olivia. Please let me try again. Olivia, no. Tom, please let me try again. Olivia, this isn't all about you. I know, but... Renee, just come get ready. Wait, Tom, just... Olivia, enough! Olivia, I know you're passionate, but please, just give Renee a chance. 
okay? Okay. Great. Oh, and Olivia. I'm afraid we're going to be performing a different kind of show, Olivia. Starting with our understudy. Olivia, are you happy? Are you happy seeing what your actions have caused? Or seeing the pain in our eyes? Olivia, why? Do you care? Do you even care at all? Or were you so busy, wrapped up in your own life, that you not even, not even for a second, have considered how hard it is going through this too? You had a life before all this, you know. With Ryan and Matthew, and your friends who cared about you. With adventure and dreams to lead the way. But now what do you live for, Olive? Ryan cared about you, and you let him slip away. Ryan spent his life living for you, and you let those memories fade. He's been gone for two months, but so have you. Annie, I... Yeah. Jonathan, please, I'm sorry. If you're so sorry, you should have said so long ago, because you've lost your chance now. Mia, you see, the issue with you is you get so lost in your passions that you let life pass by without you. What can I do? What can I say? You can't change the past, so stop trying. Olivia, wait. Please, Tom, I have to say something. Iris, please be quiet. Don't make it harder than it already is. But I can't just let this happen. Olivia, do you know who he is? Enough. He is not who he says he is. Jonathan, Renee, please tell me you're on my side. I... Annie, I... Enough! There are some moves you don't want to make, Olive. There are sometimes innocent people get caught up in your web of mistakes. Now, Jonathan, show her the truth. No, please don't do this to him. What's going on? Please, don't let this pain continue. Olivia, just make it stop. Tom, stop! What are you doing to him? What I must. Olivia, please. Jonathan, I'm sorry. How do I help you? Olivia. How can I help you? Tom, end this. You want this to end? Wait, don't! Olivia! Tom, please listen! Goodbye, Jonathan. Jonathan! What did he do? Annie! Someone! How do I help him? You should have stayed silent. What? Tom needed to win. You should have stayed silent. But? Sometimes, in order to win the war, you must be willing to lose a battle. Rehearsal's over. Come on. Jonathan. Sorry. Don't be. I'm just glad it's over. Is this usually how rehearsals normally go? No. No, he's normally not that bad. But for him to slap you... Yeah, but I'm fine. Jonathan, I'm sorry. Don't be. I promise I'm fine. But I think I'm gonna head home now. He does it for power, you know. It's not to put on a good play or make them better actors. He just wants power over them. But I don't understand why. Because he wants you, but can't have you. You have power over him. That's not true. Of course it is. Everything he's done has been to hurt you. Can't you see what he's doing? He's using them to get back at you. 
He doesn't even have to do anything to you directly. You guilt yourself. So, Jonathan is just another cog where Tom is concerned. He's just torturing you. But that's not true. He's not just hurting me, he's hurting everyone else. And it's all my fault. If, if I hadn't broken up with him, maybe we would all be happy. Olivia, that's what he wants you to think. You're playing right into his trap. Well, maybe I can't help it. Olivia, are you okay? I heard loud noises. Olivia! Yeah. Yeah, I just got startled. Olivia. Olivia. You know you can tell me anything. Yeah, I've just been stressed lately. I've noticed. Is it school? No. Friends? Is it the play? Is it too late to quit? I can't do that. I made a commitment. The only person that you need to commit to is yourself. You don't owe the world anything. Thanks, Mom. Now put this away and get some rest. Night. Olivia, we have to talk. Can it wait? I gotta go. I saw Ryan. What? How? I'm not sure. I'm only beginning to understand it myself. But I think you two are connected. More so than we originally thought. And because of this connection, we can save him. Connected how? Why can't I see him? Well, you two are separated in that Ryan's in a coma and you're not. But you're connected psychologically. Do you know what a folly of duh is? I don't think so. It's when two people who are in close proximity to each other, whether physically or mentally, begin to share traits of the other's psyche. But how so? What are we sharing? Well, you remember how you were researching dreams for a while. I think Ryan began to share this passion, and that passion was driven to obsession. It wasn't an obsession. You ignored your best friend for this, and now Ryan's spending every moment in his coma trying to save you. You're both letting these dreams control your actions. Why are we saying this? Why now? The crash. You cared about dreams before, but... And the prospect of saving me was what got Ryan obsessed. Exactly. But how do you know this? Because you know it. What? Don't you remember? We went to the library to research, and... While you were reading, I bumped into Ryan. I never went to the library. Olivia, yes you did. No, I'd remember. You must have gone without me. I couldn't have. But why? Because I'm not real. Olivia, I am you. You're splitting your memories and giving me half of them. What are you? Olivia, I... Why can't I remember us meeting? Please, let me explain. Oh. No, stay back.
starting to die, you know. What? That flower. It's disconnected, so it's starting to die. Oh. I didn't want it to die. Can I save it? No. But that's not really a bad thing, either. It's winter now, so it was gonna die anyways. Besides, you plucked it when it was still beautiful. Wouldn't you rather die beautiful? I don't know. I guess I never really thought about it. I don't think I'd die without a fight. You think so? Even if you were beautiful? Yeah, even if I was beautiful. I'm Anna Maria, by the way. Anna Maria. I like that name. Thanks. I chose it myself. What's your name? I don't have a name. That means you get to choose it yourself. What name do you want? Anna Maria. But that's my name. <laughs> what about Anna for short? But that's still my name. You have to have your own. How about Annie? Annie. I like that name. Well, nice to meet you, Annie. <laughs> hey, what happened to your hand? The rose pricked me with its thorn. Hmm. Maybe you are the rose, then. Hey, what are your dreams like? My... what? Your dreams. You know, the things you see when you're asleep? I don't think I've ever been asleep. Well, I guess you did just wake up. What are dreams like? They're like pictures you see in your mind, like a story, but entirely in your mind. What are they made of? Colors and memories, too. But if dreams are made of memories, then what's the difference between a dream and a faded memory? I don't know. What are your dreams like? Sad, mostly. I dream in blue. She could help you out. I don't know. Talking about my dreams? That just seems pointless. Besides, what if she, she's not perfect? I'll give you that. But she wants to help. Please. But what? how will I introduce myself? She already knows you. At least, she already knew me. Oh, hey, Olivia. Um, do you still want people to tell you their dreams? Yeah, totally. What was it about? Well, it started on a boat. It was just a little thing, big enough for one person. I was sailing towards nothing in particular as I leaned over the railing and was watching wave after wave push and pull against the wood. I stayed like that for a little while, just watching the waves. But then I decided to look up and watch the stars. And they moved, these stars. Each one moved across the sky, some fast, some slow, but all eventually disappeared past the horizon. And I realized that I have a lot in common with stars. We both pop into existence. We both burn as brightly as possible. We both move through the night. And we both eventually will die. But I am no star. Stars have the freedom to go where they want to, to shine for who they want to. No. I am a wave. I mindlessly move through the paces of life, pushing and pulling on those around me, but never making any real difference. A star alone can light up the sky. A wave alone dies at the shoreline. I don't want to be a wave anymore. How did you wake up? I'm 
not sure I ever did. Anna Maria, what happened? I thought you died. I thought you left me alone. Anna Maria. I feel tired. What happened? I think I stopped living for a second. How did it feel? Like waking up from a dream, a really, really bad dream. You have to tell Olivia what happened. No, Olivia, Olivia can't know about this. Wait, why? I think it will only confuse her. But Annie, we don't even know what we are. We can't expect Olivia to understand all of this just yet. So, what will I say when she inevitably brings you up? The truth. Tell her you were upset by it and wish you could have prevented it. Don't let on you know anymore, not until we have answers ourselves. Oh, and by the way, I think Matthew can see me now. Did you know? Did you know that you that it was gonna end this way? I I'm sorry. It, it had to be done. No, no, please. Olivia, we knew. And your sacrifices had to be made. No! It doesn't have to end like this. You can't leave me. I can't be alone. I can't do this alone. No. No, you can't. Look how far you've come. Olivia, you are stronger than you will ever know. I am so proud of everything you've done. Ryan. Please, promise me something. Promise me you'll keep living. Promise that you'll do all the great things that I know you can. Things are going to change, but I'll be there every step of the way. I can't do this without you. You can't. You can't. It's just like we're saying goodbye. Think of me, Olivia. I'll be waiting for you until we meet again. Goodbye. Goodbye.
know it's late. I know. We have to stop, Tom. What, what do you suggest we do? He's literally torturing her. And I don't know what to do about it. First, we have to find out who we are. Then we can deal with you. Let's go to the library. According to this, REM sleep, the cycle in which dreams are most likely to happen, decreases activity of the frontal lobes. Thus, rational thinking would be decreased as well. And it's easy to assume that the more surreal and outlandish elements of Olivia's life have occurred in that cycle. But that still doesn't explain who we are. Well, let's consider what we know. We both have no recollection of being born, if you can even call it that. Neither of us had to introduce ourselves to Olivia. Yet, for a while, she was the only one who could see us. Is that it? I think so. However, doesn't it seem strange that both you and I could only be seen by Olivia? I mean, it almost guarantees we're somehow figments of her mind. In fact, it makes almost total sense that we're products of her REM sleep. But that totally neglects the fact that Matthew could see us. Somehow our existence spread. But it only spread locally. So there must be some sort of connection between Matthew and Olivia. I mean, they were close friends. But so was Ryan. In fact, almost any connection proving that Matthew and Olivia have something can be disproven by Ryan. is in this connection. I mean, we never truly learned what happened after he entered the coma. Okay, so let's assume Ryan is in the connection. Where do we go from there? Well, they could be in a folly of do. You think they're sharing this psychosis? I mean, think about it. A folly of do requires an active subject and a passive subject. subject. And the passive subject must have some isolating contact with the active subject to allow for the psychosis to spread. And this all started with Olivia, so she's the active subject. Ryan and Matthew were both extremely close with her, thus potentially allowing for them to share her enthusiasm, what with sharing dreams. And think about how this all started with Olivia and when she started seeing us. The first time she saw me was when Ryan told her a nightmare he had. Of course, that was a couple years ago, but that was when she started recording dreams. And Olivia saw me for the first time right after she began recording her own dreams, too. That was more recently, but it still revolves around her obsession with dreams. What about Tom? Somehow, those two never made contact till we got involved. And I've known Tom since my death. I mean... Your death hit Matthew and Olivia pretty hard. That's not too surprising. Okay, this might be presumptuous, but there are three of us, and there are three people in the folly of deux. Do you think each one represents... The That's what I was thinking. And that argument is only strengthened by the fact that as each one of us came into existence, one of the other three began to lose memories. What do you mean? I mean, Ryan started to forget his dreams. Matthew started to forget simple things like what happened that day or when to pick Ryan up from practice. And Olivia, especially recently, has been struggling to see the world around her. They're all starting to become disoriented. But we remember all those things. So they're splitting their memories. But how do we get those memories? No, we are those memories. Or more likely, dreams. dreams made? When our mind replays memories in our sleep, we process 
all of them, creating vivid recollections. So what if some of those memories are never processed? Well, I suppose if you didn't process a memory, you would forget it or become increasingly disoriented. Yeah. But those memories wouldn't just disappear either, would they? No, they'd stay in your mind, causing more and more disorientation. So maybe your mind chooses to release them, or in this case, personify them. So each person started to lose memories, and those repressed memories formed a new being. But how did Olivia create them? I think through the subconscious, or at least Olivia's perception of the subconscious. Like, assuming each person is tied to the person that they're born from, their parent, I would be born from Ryan because of his nightmares. And I would be tied to Olivia with her analyzing dreams. And Tom would be Matthew, but assuming that all of those different people are connected, then you can also assume that our personalities are based off of the repressed memories. So I'm bitter because Olivia is sweet, and I'm quiet and contemplative because Ryan is extroverted. And Tom was evil because Matthew was... Meek. Exactly. So all we are is dreams. Looks like it. How do we stop it? I guess we can stop the disconnect. If they stop repressing their memories, everyone can go back to normal. There almost has to be some source. Everything in the subconscious has some source, some underlying cause. And if Olivia is the active subject, it surely has to be in her mind. I mean, that makes sense. All of this can stop if we just find the source. I'm gonna go get more books on Freud and the subconscious. I'll be right back. Dance with me. No, Andrea, what is going on? So you finally know. No, I don't. Andy won't explain anything to me and... Wait, are you not real either? Nope. But what does this mean? It means that you've become trapped in your own psychosis. You've begun to see people that don't exist. But Matthew and Ryan can see you too. Because of your connection. But who are you? I ever said she's me. And I am Ryan. Or at least an impression of him. But I don't understand. Why can I see you? Because, in your obsession to understand people's dreams, you've begun to take repressed memories and see people's subconscious as its own living thing. You've split us. But your debt wasn't real either. You saw Ryan's pain and personified it. But, Olivia, you only see the world in impressions. Not images or people, just emotions and feelings. But how are you alive? I guess I'm not, but that doesn't mean I haven't lived. Wait, what do you- Olivia, how do you know that you're alive right now? Is it because you woke up in the morning or because you can feel your own body? I just know I exist. 
You see, I thought the same thing too. After I could only see you, I thought for sure that's what defined life. It wasn't until after I met Annie that I realized I must have been missing something. After all this time, I've been missing something. Maybe we're all missing something. Are you religious? Am I religious? I can't prove my own existence, but I also can't prove that of anyone else's. So, a higher power may easily exist, just as I may easily be the highest form of existence. But then I met you, and I really think you do exist, so I'm not the highest form of existence. I thought I was, but I'm not. I guess I never really thought about it. I also asked about religion to ask if you fear death. Do you? Kind of. A little, maybe. You see, I don't. Once I realized there was something higher than me, I realized there must be a place higher than this. Not to say that confirms higher anything, I just feel like I came from somewhere higher. Maybe I'll just return there too. Do you read poetry? I haven't had the chance. I think you'd like Keats. When I have fears that I may cease to be. It's a poem about death. But I don't fear death. I know, I know. But it's about fearing that you won't do enough in life. I guess sometimes I wonder if I could have done more. It's LLV, right? I lived through Ryan. Maybe it's time I gave him his life back. I wonder what will happen to him. The coma may take some time. I don't know what'll happen to me once the connection is broken. Maybe I'll live, maybe I'll die. So we've been trapped more than we could have known. You think I'm trapped? <laughs> I think I'm about to be freed. Do you know how I fix it? You have to find the source of your psychosis. Just like you've personified us, you've created an object that represents your inner turmoil. If you find that, you can destroy it. And that'll stop the nightmares and illusions? For everyone, I believe so. Even you? What about your nightmares? You said that you almost always dreamed in blue. Did you know there have been studies produced that have claimed that before color TV, people often dreamed in black and white? Is that so? I don't know how true it is. I like to think it is. I like to think that TV took people to another world and with them follow their dreams. Where are we? I was about to ask you the same question. Does it look familiar? I recognize it all, but I don't think I've ever seen any of this before. Your mind can create things too, you know. Not everything in life is based on memories. I think we're in your mind. And this is your world. Beautiful. I think I should leave you now. Besides, you have something to find, but... Yo, and Olivia. I dream in color now. It's over now, isn't it? I can't say I'm gonna miss it though. It's been exhausting, more so than you could ever know. You don't think it was hard on me to? I guess I shouldn't say that. I just bet you never stop to realize how much pain those around you are in. See, I didn't like being the director of your play. I mean, I liked the power at first, but creating a whole world is too much work. I got tired. Please don't ask for sympathy. Don't worry, I don't need it. Then what are you doing? I guess, 
I guess I'm just trying to say I'm sorry. I caused a lot of pain for myself and for you as well, and that's not fair. I just... I just got lost in the moment. Aren't you gonna say something? I guess I don't have anything to say. I feel like I have a lot to say, but seeing you here doesn't seem important now. I feel like I should be angry too. That seeing you would somehow remind me to how I'm right and you're wrong. It hasn't though. You ready to end this? You know what will happen to us? Maybe it's for the best. This is our last chance to play our characters. Did you realize that? We never made opening night, but I can still see that curtain call now. This is our curtain call, Annie. This is our time to shine. Goodbye, Tom. Goodbye, Iris. Dear Olivia, I'm happy to hear you started your research again. Though Annie and Tom are gone, I'm sure they would have both been happy too. I've decided to travel. I know it's sudden, but I'm not sure how much time I have left, so I might as well see all I can. I want to thank you, Olivia, for reminding me of the importance of life. I didn't believe it at first, but I finally get what you meant when you said dreams are eternal. I think I'm eternal too, Olivia, and so are you. Love, and Olivia. Yes. Ryan woke up. are spinning in the dark A secret wish that none will know She keeps it locked up in her pale heart Wait for it It's tired and it's true